Family, party of 14. A Wadmalaw family takes the words big family to a heartwarming level. The Thornley family proves that parenthood requires love, not DNA. News 2's Octavia Mitchell introduces us to George and Diana Thornley, our everyday heroes. Good morning, guys. Come on down. Come on down. Let's work on breakfast. Meet the Thornleys. Good morning, Good morning baby. George and Diana Thornley have 12 children from 8 months to 16 years old. Adopted from around the world, nine international adoptions and three within the United States. What about two? What do you say? There you go. The Thornley kids come from China, Ethiopia, Panama, Oregon, North Carolina, and New York. <laughs> When George and Diana got married in 2005, they had no plans to have children. And he has three children, biological children, from his previous marriage. <laughs> and so that was it. We were just traveling and doing fun things. And then George brought up the um, idea of adoption to me when we lived downtown. And Christian World Adoption was right around the corner. And so that just kind of what started it. We um, prayed about it and felt like God was leading us to adopt. Then we just really started seeing the need for um, adoption and that we had enough space and enough love for to bring more kids into the family. Now, the Thornleys advocate for adoption. In this world, if it was a perfect world, every time a kid cried or, or called out, uh, there would be a parent for them. Uh, this world is broken. Uh, it, it needs to be fixed. And maybe we can fix it, you know, one child at a time. In this case, three children at a time. Some of the Thornley kids were adopted as babies. Others were older. Hi. <laughs> there are many kids from many different countries and right here in America that need homes at three years old, at 12 years old, at 14 years old. It's amazing when you see a child that comes home at the age of 13 and is never had the love of a family and doesn't know what unconditional love is. Because it gave me a home and that, um, and that I will, that I get a nice bed and food and they love me a lot. George and Diana say they have no plans to adopt more children right now, but... We always say that we're done, but we've gotten to the point where... There is an empty seat in the van. There's one seat left. Octavia Mitchell, News 2. I have enough trouble with one, can't imagine 14. What a great family. The Thornley family travels around the world, and Diana very hands-on with all of her children, uh, their schools and after-school activities. If you want more information about adoption, head over to our website. We have all the info there, countonto.com.